Okay, so I've noticed a couple of people on the forums asking some questions uh, about um, dynamos, automated, uh, turning them off, blah, blah, blah. I also noticed that it seems that people haven't noticed one of the new and interesting things you can do with the newest uh, TE dev build. Or not dev build, sorry. This is actually just TE. It's what's in Magic Farm, which is what this pack is. It's what's in Direwolf. Uh, it's what's in all the packs. First thing you need is the Redstone Comparator. It's basic vanilla Minecraft. Um, you put an energy cell next to that. Um, we'll use our creative cell here in a minute because we're going to set up the rest of this for demonstration purposes. Of course, the comparator needs somewhere to send the redstone signal. We'll go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go with eight um, because that's about half the length that a redstone signal can go, which means um, something here in a minute. These are glowstone illuminators. They, uh, these are not actually necessary for this. This is just the easy way of um, showing how the redstone signal is tra traveling. All of these are now set to proportional, so they will be as bright as the redstone signal they receive. And then at the end here, I'm going to put a red net cable. And I'm going to run this along here. Mm, not right there, actually. So I don't want to mess up that glowstone illuminator for this purpose. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, dynamos from TE come with a couple of setting options. They can be set to only be on when they have low signal, which means no signal. Um, they can be set to only be on when they have a high signal. That's the state of having the lever turned on. Or they can be set to just ignore redstone signal altogether. Uh, by default, when you place a dynamo down, it's set to low. So if you give it a redstone signal, the dynamo will turn off. I need to give these some fuel. You know, like one of the things is when, say, you start doing pyrothium, which, well, no, it's not horribly expensive. You still don't necessarily want to be wasting this stuff. And you probably don't get to have a creative tank most of the time. Now, you notice all my dynamos have turned on. If I take a lever, um, we can just toss this stuff up here now. If I put this lever on here and I turn it on, see, they turn off. Why do they turn off? They turn off because a redstone signal was applied. So right now they're on because they're not getting redstone signal. Well, what we're pretending I'm doing here because I just can't be bothered to set up the entire thing, is we're going to pretend that what I want is for my engines to turn off, or my dynamos to turn off, when the redstone energy cell has reached about halfway, more or less, give or take. Hmm. Notice it is now turned on. And the first redstone is starting to glow. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to um, nighttime so that you can see the glow a little bit better. This is going to take a minute because um, the comparator is basically reading how much uh, fill is in this. The more full the energy cell gets, the stronger the output. I wonder if dyeing these illuminators would make them show up maybe a little better. Um. Doesn't appear so. Out of curiosity, what does on look like? Proportional is a little bit mm. not as easy to see. But what we're actually waiting for isn't these.
which is why I'm just sitting here playing with them because they don't actually have anything to do with this. I was hoping they would show up better, but in my texture pack, I probably need to work on the glowstone rendering a bit because they aren't really showing up as holy shit bright. And look, suddenly, all of our dynamos have turned off. Power output is zero. Now, if it was just because these were full, it wouldn't say power output zero. It would instead say power output four. These have, in fact, turned off. They are receiving a redstone signal. We can take a, an illuminator, put it here, and it's turned on. Whereas if we were to put one right here, it's off. Why is it on? Because it's getting a redstone signal. It is getting a redstone signal because the energy cell has sent it a redstone signal through the redstone cable here. Where the energy cell stops it can be determined with some testing based on how far you run the, uh, the redstone cabling. Because the rednet cable, as soon as it receives a strong redstone signal, which means it breaches that block there, it's going to send a redstone signal to all of these and turn them off. Now, if I break this, voila, suddenly the engines are back on again. Or if, say, what I wanted to do was, hey, this energy cell is full, I'd like my engines to come back on so that I can charge another energy cell. It's okay, because I can do that. I just put a new energy cell down that's empty, and it starts the process over again. The dynamos have turned back on. The comparator is double checking. You can even do this by way of um, putting them in a row if you wanted to. You would basically set this one to output on this side, and this one to output on this side, and this one to output on that side. And now the energy will travel through all of these. And slowly fill them all up. Very, very slowly. But it will happen eventually with time. But so there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. As long as you make sure that your bottom one is the one that ends up getting filled up last. That's the point at which your uh, dynamos will turn off. And a little bit of creativity um, and some, you know, wiring and work. You can easily have your dynamos turning off whenever there's a uh, signal sent to them based on how full a redstone energy cell was. And as you may have noticed on the, uh, the last time when uh, we were doing that, it shut off at about halfway point. That's okay because if you shut it off at about the halfway point, that works because in a real life, real game situation, you would actually have this conduit on the other end. You would have the uh, energy cell down there. And then what would happen would be the cell would get the energy. Um, so for that setup, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll put, um, we need the comparator. We just have to make sure it faces the correct way. The two sides should be towards the uh, energy cell. We'll put the energy cell there. And we are going to go ahead and run our conduits. Of course, we're going to need our red net cable. So we'll go ahead and uh, 
I'll leave that one blocked just for neatness sake. And go one, two, three. Okay, there we go. We've got that. Then put that up there. I don't know. I'm not even sure. How did I grab? Oh, I grab. I remember why I grabbed lapis. Derp. And we'll need the dynamos. And the nice thing about the RedNet cable is that since it runs vertically as well as horizontally, if you've seen my Tetris engine set up with uh, the dynamos, it's in one of the other videos, um, you can pretty easily figure out how to uh, run the cables along the sides and have this in a nice neat stack. Now, of course, this is going to take quite a bit more time to fill up since... Um, well, duh, so we're going to cheat a bit. We're going to go ahead and put this on top of that just to fill it up a bit faster so we get to where it's got the signal going. Because the important part of this is going to be when it reaches the point of being filled. Yeah, about... Um, four million on this one it starts uh, at ten percent it starts sending out the first signal with the red net cable you can even do colors and set up sub networks so if you wanted to you could have a bank of engines that's turned off that's on red and a bank of engines that's turned off only when the purple line gets the redstone signal etc etc you, you can do some really crazy things with that And what we want is for this to get over here to where it's going to close out. But you could easily do this with, you know, my stacking dynamos vertically thing where you do um, the dynamos going down into the ground. Um, or just about any other setup. Just run red net cabling along it. I don't know if Project Red Red Alloy will transmit a regular redstone signal or not. I've never tried. I would assume it does as well. So if you would prefer to use that. Yeah, that's always an option. Yeah, this is going to get to a little bit more than halfway before it fills up. We'll go ahead and take that off so that it just uses the uh, engines to finish filling up. Probably would have been smarter to do this with a smaller energy cell. Oh well. And our engines have turned off. But this is going to continue to rise because there's still some energy in the system. And it's going to drain the rest of the energy from the system and fill up. Well, it may not fill up completely all the way. But this way, if you set it to turn off before the energy cell is completely full, you don't have to worry about that little buffer in there wasting your energy. It's turned off. It's not running any power. It's not burning any fuel. And any excess energy that might have been hanging around in the engines or in the conduit is now in the energy cell. And it's all ready to go. And as soon as I'm ready to put another cell on, I can always just pick this one up 
and move it. Or if I didn't want to do that, if I wanted to just turn it on manually, it's okay because I can always put in a fail-safe lever over here, which apparently will not actually work. I know there's a way to do that. Oh, I think I'd have to have them set to high signal for that, which would defeat the purpose. There's probably some sneaky way of doing that. Mm, I'm not going to figure it out. I'll leave that for you to figure out. But as you can see, with a little bit of work, um, some red net cable, some red alloy cable, and just a bit of creativity, you can turn your dynamos off based on an energy cell being full. Put the energy cell at the end of a bank of machines and the energy cell gets uh, energy, you know, after the machines have and it can turn it off. Yeah, it, there's a number of different ways at which you could do it to make sure that your system is turning off. It's not a one block solution, uh, but it definitely works. Enjoy. I hope that helps somebody, anybody. Maybe.